Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going back to basics and I'm starting off with Procreate. Now this will be a series where I'll be covering basics of different softwares and tools. So without any further ado, let's just jump right in. Right. Alright guys, so for the brushes part, there is nothing much to explain but I still want to show you guys how these brushes work and the important setting that you might want to learn about before you get started with Procreate. Let's just say I am using technical pen, maybe studio pen, yeah. So the important setting that I'm talking about is stabilization for the brush. Here we have this little setting called stabilization. Now here we have two settings that you might want to play around with. One is streamline and one is stabilization. All right, so what these settings does is, let's just say I decreased streamline and also stabilization. So when I do that and when I am drawing something, you guys can see some bumps here and there. So those two settings will help you guys to get rid of these bumps and to get a really smooth stroke, really smooth brush stroke. So when I increase stabilization up to the max, it actually takes away the control over the brush. As you guys can see, it did, it did actually help me in getting rid of those bumps, but it, it is actually taking away the control over the brush. It's not flowing effortlessly. And when I increase streamline, what this does is this actually makes those brush stroke pretty effortless and pretty smooth. And at the same time, it does not take away any control over the brush. I hope this is making sense. So these are the two settings that you should know about before you get started with Procreate. And if you are somebody who's into lettering or something like that, then these settings are a must. All right. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Brushes. Other thing that I want to talk about is The pressure you put onto the screen when you put light pressure it actually adds light color to the screen or onto the canvas when you are putting hard pressure onto the screen it will add a lot of pigment onto the canvas you can practice this if you are somebody who's still new you might want to get used to your pencil or pen or whatever you're using by you know just gently going over the artboard and just looking what happens when you put different strengths of pressure i don't know how else to say this but yeah different strength of pressure how much pigmentation how much color you're adding when you do so and it will actually help you in getting used to the pen you're using or the pencil you're using now let's move on to the blending tool so guys blending tool is really easy to understand let's just say these are two colors i have right here on the canvas let's just say i want to blend these so how this blending tool works is it actually pushes the color as in if i go from this pink to the black it will actually push that pink color over the black color it is actually pushing those pixels those pink pixels over the black ones and the same thing happens when we go the other way around and let me just increase the opacity so you guys can see it is pushing the color over the other one so how blending works is this is how this tool works in general so let's just say i want to blend these two colors out i just want to blend this harsh line between the two colors i would i what i do is i actually prefer using these blending tools with low opacity like that and I just go over that harsh line really gently in a circular motion and as you guys can see that line is starting to disappear now once I do that I also prefer using large sized brush to do that and as you guys can see it is nicely blended obviously it looks kind of messy because the color selection I did here was pretty was kind of off but that's perfectly fine. That's how you blend colors on Procreate. It's quite simple, you guys. You can use any brush that you want. Now let's just move on to blending without the blending tool. So let's just say I have these two colors again. 
I'm just gonna pick a good color right here. I'm just gonna pick yellow color like that and you want to blend these colors together without using the blending tools so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use soft brush i use soft brush for everything you guys so what you want to do is you want to just just pick any color it doesn't really matter so i'm just going to pick yellow i'm just going to increase the size of the brush and as i told you guys before the more pressure you put onto the screen the more pigment will be added onto the canvas. The less pressure you add onto the screen, the less color will be added onto the canvas. So keeping that in mind, what I'm doing here with the large sized brush, I am lightly, this is too large, I'm lightly going over that pink color, not even that pink color, over that line where these two colors are kind of meeting each other. I'm doing it really, really lightly. As you guys can see, it is already blended. And then I'm gonna pick pink color and gonna kind of go over the edge of that yellow color if that is if that is making any sense. It looks way better than the one I did with the blending tool. That is why I prefer blending my colors with my brushes only and not the blending tool. So yeah, I do have in-depth tutorial on blending and I will link those down in the description. Those are a little too detailed so yeah that was it that was about this video back to basics i really hope you guys found this video helpful if you did give this video a big thumbs up and yeah subscribe to my channel do check out the description down below if you are somebody who's getting started with procreate you might want to learn a lot and i have a lot of tutorials on my channel that will actually help you guys building that confidence up with digital art or procreate in general so yeah do follow me on instagram if you do create something out of my tutorials as your first artwork do tag me on instagram i would love to see that other than that i will see you guys in the next video